there is only so much that the people can take when you push them and push them and push them too hard and push them to a point of no return somehow they are going to revolt and so while we speak to the people to see how they make lifestyle changes it is like a child uh, uh, you know it's, it's like having um, having mosquitoes in a house and then you're treating malaria every other time and then staying in the same house you have not fumigated the house there are high chances that the, the uh, malaria will continue to happen and so what do we do while we speak to the residents to see how they make lifestyle changes see how to take a walk talk to people that you care about because it would help you relieve the stress and tension by the time we do this and it offers some temporary relief and they go back to the same environment that is suffocating there is only so much that the people can take and so i encourage i implore the government to also see how they can immediately see how to even improve the um, alternative banking infrastructure to see how to help because sometimes it's not necessarily about the lack of cash it is the fact that you could get thoroughly embarrassed if you go to buy something maybe you finish eating and then you try to make payment and it is not working so the whole frustration could suffocate someone so the government needs to step up its game and see how to make certain changes to accommodate these people to make life less difficult for the people and so for the people too we must deliberately take more care about care of ourselves we must see how to make changes in the way we relate with people the places we go to we must prioritize our expenses we must set orders of priority the things that are not very important unnecessary attendance of ceremonies that do not bring any financial value you would have to cut down on those things and understand that people who expect you to attend this event are also living in this world and where you are not able to attend they will still understand now imagine that you try to please everybody and then at the end of the day you displace yourself those are the issues and so we must prioritize ourselves if prioritizing yourself means being selfish at least you could be selfish temporarily for now and actually survive this whole situation and then when we are done with all of this you can be generous and magnanimous with your time again thank you